Hello! Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? Two Alex in one day, best Monday ever. You know, it really doesn't feel like a Monday. It really doesn't. I don't know what it feels like today. It feels like a Tuesday or a Wednesday. It feels like middle of the week kind of vibes. Today was a long day. Are you excited for the new Lotus switches Mode is making? Uh, as uh, I love the Obscuras, so yes is the answer. 100% yes, I think. I actually don't know too much about them right now. Mochi Boy, thank you so much for the tier one, man. Hey, Alex. Hello, hello. Hi, everybody. How you guys doing? Skom, Vaz, Raikoi, Alof. Um, Rye Guy, Geoff, Jishi, Seabass, Bird, what's going on, Arms, I love Mud, I love your name, uh, Soran, KG, what's going on, Fala, how you doing, Move, Letos, uh, Soro, Soros, oh my god, I always mispronounce this, Sassery, uh, AZ, how you doing, man, Ricky, thank you so much for the Hi, tier one, man. how are you doing today? Uh, pretty good, just, uh, just kind of hanging in there today. Oh, let me move some stuff out of the desk. I was taking notes earlier, and I was using this as my notepad. Oh, there's the pen. But yeah, pretty good. Just uh, hanging around, really, doing my thing. Today has been a little bit of a long day. Slurpless, how are you doing, Slurpless? Sweater looking mighty comfy. I don't know whether I should just keep it like this or not, but I'm usually a roll up the sleeves kind of guy, but I don't know. Hello, everybody. Is my mouth clean? I don't know. Let's see. Hey, Alex, are you taking pictures of the Gios board of the Pizza Hut? I, I was talking to Bowl about this. The answer is yes. I just need to order Pizza Hut because I feel like I, I need to be in the mood to order Pizza Hut, though. <laughs> so I'm thinking tomorrow night. I don't know. I think that's like a fair Pizza Hut kind of day. Um, I'm afraid to ask. How do you like your pizza? Pepperoni and cheese. I mean, I like a whole bunch of different pizzas, though, to be honest. Um, I like the, what, what's it called? When it, everything's on it. Um, and then I like vegetarian pizza. I also like, I don't mind pineapple. It's okay. And then I, um, I like Canadian style pizza, which is like basically ham and bacon on it. Or I guess that's considered like meat lovers or whatever. Uh, pizza is the opposite to chips. <laughs> pizza I'll have a whole bunch of different ways. It's uh, just potato chips I am weird about. I don't know why that is, man. I actually don't understand why, but you know what? It is what it is, you know? His plain chip take wasn't terrible. I, I wholeheartedly appreciate you, bro. Uh, but how are you doing though, Ricky? And Mochi, thank you again for that tier one, man. What chips would you have on a pizza? <sighs> would you put chips on a pizza? Potato chips? I feel like that's a lot. What about fries? What about fries? You mean like, how do I like fries? Just, but I just like regular, regular potato, like potatoes that are fried. That's it. You just had to bring up your messed up chip preference. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, Ducky, thank you so much for your prime here, man. I really appreciate you. Uh, what the hell, G off? I, I have eaten chips with rice, and there was nothing to eat. You know what though? I. I uh, Slurpless, chips and rice doesn't sound all too bad though. Like if you were to say like, this is all you have to eat, I feel like that's like, it's just carbs, you know? Like it's it's gonna be good. I actually like plain rice, maybe it's just me. Plain rice, if it's done right, it's superb. Um, anyone who disagrees smells. That That's some, that's pretty crazy, man. That is a crazy thing to say, Soran. Sup, Alex? Been a while, my dude. It has been a little while since I've seen a few people here today. I've seen like a few. I don't want to use the word unfamiliar, but like you know, faces I haven't seen in a while. Fresh rice is so good. Yes, my favorite thing to do at the Korean barbecue restaurants is I really like cooking all the food and then I leave it like I. You know how like they give you a little plate sometimes? I actually prefer to put it all in the rice bowl, like and let all the flavors go through the rice. Mm, that's good. And then you get that nice, and then at the end, it's weird because I don't actually eat the meat with the rice. I know you're supposed to, but then at the end, I like just having that nice bowl of rice with all the, the flavors from the, the KBBQ or even the, you know, whatever barbecue place we're at. Oh, that's so good to me. I was okay with plain chip take. It was the lightly salted being an alternative flavor that got me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, man. All right, let's take a look at the Jiris. Uh, disclaimer, I already slightly opened this. Is your hair naturally curly? Yes, it is very curly naturally. This is me trying to make it not as curly or else it becomes a bit of a mess. I like eating leftover rice with honey and coconut milk. Interesting, I can't say I've ever heard of that. Dark Press, 10 stream streak. God damn. God damn, bro. All right, Jairus. Jairus has a few little notes that I wrote down because I thought they were interesting. Uh, Jairus is gonna be, hold on, let me, let me find my little note section here because I wrote it down and I knew I wasn't gonna remember it. 165 to $225. So that's how, where this is gonna range. I think. And the reason why I say I think is because they had a big pricing sheet and I have a weird feeling that I'm hoping it doesn't shift towards when the group I actually launches, but I think it's gonna be anywhere from 165 for the all aluminum ones to 225 for some variations of like E-White and then the titanium, uh, titanium white. Oh no, it's Glenn. Thank you so much for your prime, man. Oh, uh, dude, your review on the Neo 65 made me order one. Thanks, those thin bezels though. I'm a big thin bezel guy, at least lately anyways. So it does have an 18 millimeter front height and a 7.5 millimeter typing angle. I'm unsure of the weight of this board. For me, it doesn't really matter too much. So this board has me interested, but it also has me puzzled. And we're gonna go through that today because I think there's a lot to love on this board and including the price point, I think there's a lot to love. However, I think some of the design decisions maybe don't bode too well with me. First of all, we have lots of options. Good on them. We have a solderable PCB with no flex cuts. We also have flex cuts with hot swap. I'm not gonna use this guy today. We have lots of foam options for foam lovers. We have two different plates being a palm plate and aluminum, but we can also go plateless. And I'm sorta of leaning to plateless. I do agree with Rai Guy, what Rai Guy just said, and that's one of the things that has me puzzled. They have so many good things, but they left this guy over here. However, because this is not going to be an adhesive gasket situation, we can just not put the gaskets there. So, you know, it's not a bad little trade-off. It isn't, but I'm leaning towards plateless. I don't know if anyone else has done plateless yet. I didn't have a chance to check out other content creators for this. All right, now, I opted, they asked me what color I want, and I think they wanted me to pick like the, the you know, the biggest, baddest color. But I, I opted for basically the <clears throat> aluminum, I believe, edition uh, with the silver weight, or I guess, sorry, not aluminum edition, the silver edition with the silver weight here. Now, this is kind of where the keyboard starts to lose me a little bit, is in some of its, and again, I think this is gonna be a preference part of the stream. So if I go against, where did I put my little, if I go against your preference here, um, you know, just it, please be aware that this is my preference for this part. Yes, it is a ball catch system for the, for the disassembly of this board, which is amazing. Love that. There's also apparently two batteries. I don't know if my version has two batteries in it. I'm not too sure. Um, but before that, hold on, let me turn down my music because for me, it's really loud. They did send me this board. This is a sponsored stream, but that does no way affect the review at all, just so you guys understand. But this, this is gonna be a catch ball system. It's a good way I can lift this up. I haven't actually opened it yet, so. Is there like a, a trick to this? Let's see. Oh, the frame's really thin on the bottom. I'm also known to catch the ball catch. Hey, that's pretty good. So it does utilize the ball catch system. I mean, I, I like this. I like this system in a keyboard. I really do. I do think they could have made the way that you lift it up just a little bit thicker, but it's essentially going to be screwless on the outside. Um, so technically there shouldn't be much you need to actually do on this board in terms of assembly. 
I believe the USB-C will already come pre-installed. You may, actually, I don't know if there's weights in here, so I'm kind of curious to take this apart. Or not weights, uh, batteries. Now, I don't love this top design over here, but it does have some RGB. I don't mind it in silver, but I was looking at some of the other colors they had and I did not like it. Uh, and then the other thing I really didn't like, and I don't have this version. So again, my version is kind of safe from this. Okay, we're gonna peel this off. They have their titanium weights with all those patterns on it. I think those, those patterns are very tacky on the weight. I, and they're the most expensive editions, I believe. I don't think you can get more expensive than those multicolored titanium ones. Um, I'm not a big, big fan of what they did with those. Gonna be 100% honest with you. I think they kind of look ugly, but I don't mind this at all. I think this back weight is not too bad looking. The PVDing is pretty good. There's no rippling, nothing like that. Just some fingerprints now that I've touched it. Canada vendors, Ash Keebs. I can't remember who the US vendor, I think Keebs for all. But I do wanna open this guy here up. <clears throat> but if you guys haven't seen their website listing for this, I think Chozo put the geek hack in here. Yeah, he did. They have some interesting colors. Again, I just really don't like their crazy titanium editions. I think they kind of missed the mark with those. They, they're kind of ugly. Actually, there is some weird designs with this. I just like the plain, I mean, again, this is preference based. I just like the plain stuff. The stuff that gets a little too wild and out there ain't my thing. Price point is gonna start at 165. I don't know if there's anything cheaper. According to their, their pricing chart, oh, my camera does not like this. According to their pricing chart, there is nothing else cheaper for this. So that's all I know of. I want to see if there is the batteries. In terms of aesthetics, we'll put this back together here and we'll go through all the aesthetic pieces. But I just want to see if there's batteries first. So I didn't see any batteries in the rest of the, I guess the, the build there. Drop my screwdriver. Will you be building the Neo 70? I don't think so. I, I don't think so at all. Now, how do I take this off? Should I just like, oh. I thought this was much larger than it. Oh, I guess there's just some uh, silicone here in place of the batteries. Is this silicone? Silicone pucks in place of the batteries. I don't think I'm be building the Neo 70. No one reached out to me. I, I kind of want to reach out to them, but I don't know if they want me to build it. Compliment for Kenny. Hey, Kenny, you know who I'd always reach out to whenever something's wrong and I need the best person I know to, to cry on someone's shoulder? I reach out to you, bro. I love you, dude. I hope you're amazing today. Hope life's going your way. Appreciate everything about you. Have you ever got interested in watches? Uh, I, when I was much younger, I had a very, very short-lived interest in them. So I was. But right now my interest mainly lies in camera stuff. So down the road, I'd like to pick up very particular sets of camera gear. It's just all very expensive. I think uh, cameras and keyboards are pretty much my primary hobbies right now. I think, I think if you do three hobbies, that's dangerous. I think two hobbies is even dangerous as is. Like, isn't, don't you guys think that? I think two hobbies is wild, man. Having two separate hobbies is pretty crazy. All right, let's put this back and I do wanna go over some of the uh, aesthetics with you guys. All right, so in terms of aesthetics, basic box on wedge. Can't really be too mad at when the keyboard leans for this style. It's tried and true. I mean, it looks clean. It does its job. Uh, it does have an 18 millimeter front height, as I mentioned, with a 7.5 degree typing angle. 
The back is pretty basic. Again, for this price point, uh, 165 starting, not bad. Uh, the weights where it kind of gets interesting, they have like that pyramid weight over here that they're calling it, plus this outside weight. So the back's visually interesting. Now, again, I don't love the, the top of the board here. This looks a little bit much for me. I don't know what it is about this. It just seems like this is too big for this area. Maybe, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Could be just me. But the board is very pretty. I would have preferred a little bit thinner side bezels, but again, that's just my preference. Uh, internal extra brass weight here. I don't know if that's extra. I didn't really read about that. I didn't see anything about that per se, but yeah, I didn't see anything about a brass internal weight being extra. Let me see. Let's go look at the SKUs and pricing they have listed. Let's double check. A bit too much flair. QK80's 1U RGB strip looks better. I think it just needs to be dialed down. And then there's also a optional rotary encoder, uh, which you can, rotary encoder, which you can install over here, but I think that's just getting like too much stuff. And it's like silver or you can get it in like PVD or tons of different stuff for that too. Um, I don't know if it's extra or not. Structure, brass internal weight enhances the bottom. So let me see, does it come with it? Uh, let's see what's in the box. Just want to double check if that's in there. Yeah, it comes in the it comes in the uh, the package. So you do get the brass internal weight with the base package, which is interesting. <clears throat> Says that under the package includes. So it looks like you're just really paying for colors and finishes. So not bad. Not bad at all. All right. <clears throat> Now, my only other thing, which it wasn't listed, at least I didn't see, was I don't know how thick this PCB is. And I really hope it's not 1.2. I didn't see any shims with this, or maybe it's in that other package. I think it actually might be 1.2. Let's see. There's our PCB. Oh man, I really hope it's not. I'm running out of screw in. I don't think I have, I think I have maybe one package of screw in stabs left for this. Came with this too, which is like a whole bunch of extra stuff. Or not extra stuff, I guess the other parts. I don't know why they just didn't put this in the rest of the box. It just feels like wait, a waste over here. Okay, so that's that. There is. Oh, this is, so they have magnetic um, pyramids, you can, or triangles you can put on the back as well. So that's another style. There's a keycap in there, but I think these are just extras if you pre-order it or something. Screwdriver, yeah, nothing we need. They didn't include the, the knob in ours, which is fine because I don't think I would have used it. All right, let's just double check this works with 1.6 stabs. How, how much, uh, wait, how, eh. hey Alex, is this heavier than the KBD 8X Mark III uh, according to your muscular hands? This feels about, about the same. Roughly about the same. All right, let's see, well this. This is indeed a 1.6. Or 1.2. Because there's a small, small gap. I don't know if you guys can really even tell. Here, I'll do it for this one. So see that gap right there? Right there? 1.2. Okay, so... I either need to get screw-in stuff. Which is probably the best route to go here and not use clip-ins. This is where clip-ins sort of fall short, but honestly, it's more so the PCB in this case. So let's get our big box of stabilizers. My stomach growled. 
Did you see the Teha X MKB HD and Omni type collab? I did see that. Very happy for them. That was a very cool looking Bauer, if I must say myself. I was uh, a little jealous. Not to, not to make a keyboard for MKBH. That's really cool though. I just wish I had that keyboard. It was kind of nice looking, not gonna lie. Kind of nice looking. I remember when screw-ins were better. I mean, I think screw-ins and these go kind of hand in hand, but uh, I'm just gonna use a bunch of random stabilizer colors here. Three sets there, another set here. So I need one more set of these bases. Um, these are from Kinetic Labs, but the keycap ones are in my exclamation point kit. Hi, Bob, how you doing? I hope everything's good, man. Hope life's swell for you. So I need one, two, three, four. So I need four more of those. I find stabs, they're always really good to keep because I tend to go through these things pretty quickly. So I enjoy holding on to these stabilizers. Although I do need to go through my packages and stuff because the thing about this particular box is all these things right, like rose up and then everything spilled into each other. So it was a little, disappointing in the end because I'm like, oh, I spent all this time like organizing them only for it to all fall apart. So eventually one day I'll go through this, but today, oops, today is unfortunately and fortunately not that day. All right, we'll get some uh, washers and stuff as we go too. Your day was good? Day was good, I'd say for the most part. Um, had a conversation with an old friend for a few minutes about camera stuff, which was fun. And then, um, mainly just did some photography, worked a little bit, you know, low key. I love when I use enough of the same stab that I can combine the leftovers to get a free loyalty card bonus pack. Dude, I feel you there, Rufus. I totally, totally feel you there. I also absolutely adore that feeling. All right, let's get some lube and let's lube these things up. <sighs> How was your day though? Man, I wish I saw your x point kit before I went through six different boxes on Amazon before seeing the exact one you use. Yeah, the, the kit list is nice to have. It's good to... It's good for me to reference that list very quickly without needing to like constantly link you guys. I think it's like so handy to have. So I, I enjoy keeping that up to date. Those iris boxes are perfect size. I recommend getting them on sale, uh, which happens pretty often I'd say. They usually go for like 20% off. But the problem with that I've noticed is when they do go on sale, they tend to sell out and then you have to wait for them to restock at regular price. So it's like a mixed mixed bag, I guess. Like, I don't know exactly if you should wait, but I recommend waiting. Build ISO and you get free two free every time. That's true. Do you believe flux cuts in, in the board is unnecessary? It only affects the acoustics in a bad way. Ooh, this is, this is getting into like hot take territory. You guys want this? We want to go down this path of conversation tonight. We're all going to be respectful. Um, so <clears throat> if you decide to build hot or sorry, um, flex cuts, you do you. However, I feel like flex cuts. <clears throat> I feel like flex cuts truly now that I've used them for a while and I have like more of an opinion on them. They sort of feel like an afterthought. It's like 
when you want something to have a little bit more flex and you've already built the board, so then now you go in and add flex cuts. That's kind of what I feel about flex cuts these days. Again, it's all preference. Um, my thought is if you're aiming to have a more flexy keyboard, get a flexier mount. If you want something that has a bit more bounce, then build that way. The detriment to using flex cuts is it just makes it so thin sounding. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at and that's how I 24 the months cuts. watching the best in the biz. Thank you, dude. Appreciate you, DJ Snazzy. Uh, so you, you might gain a little bit of bounce, maybe depending on the plate that you use, but you're losing all of that nice sound profile. And then you, you're kind of forced to compensate with foam. You know what I mean? Again, some people love it and they swear by it and like it's their favorite thing and go for it. More power to you. But I do not like them and I think they're a little bit uh, of an afterthought. Also, Jeff, did I say thank you for the 24 months, man? That is a lot of months. I hope you're doing well today, bro. Alu plate with flex cuts is redundant. I agree with that. So that's what, that's what um, initially got me kind of in like a head tilt with the QK80, for example. It's just cause like, how are you gonna tell me this is my only option and then offer these stiff plates? Which does not, like it kind of like, you know, does nothing for the keyboard except make it lose sound. Uh, are you gonna be building the new QK65 when it's released? If they release a new one soon, I haven't heard about that particular one, but I would love to, I just, I don't know. What's up, Saint? How you doing? I hope you're doing well today, bro. <sighs> Have you tried using polypropylene plate before? Yes. Uh, PP plates. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is, this is opening up another can of worms. PP plates are wonderful. Um, I don't like using them in all of my builds, but I don't mind a polypropylene plate in uh, in some boards. Oh my God. PP Pog, PP Pog. <laughs> I didn't, it didn't read it. <laughs> TK, I'm so sorry, dude. It did not like you writing the word PP in there, bro. Oh no. PP Pog, PP Pog, there you go. Fuck, <laughs> well, I got you though, man, I'll read it out. That is funny. Got my Black Friday monitor in today. Do you guys find any really, like, really good deals out there? So nice. Hope you're having a good day, dude, and the PP board looks nice, smile. Why did it read its Q and not TK's? What? That's so, that's biased. That's so biased right now. That is actually, I don't even know what that is, but that's not right. That is not right, dude. Uh, but I'm having a pretty good day, it's Q. Thank you so much for asking. I'm um, just trying to, trying to take today in like a pace that's not me rushing things. Cause I feel like I've been not rushing lately, but just like pressed for time lately, so. Did somebody say PP plate? <laughs> Wow, it didn't read TK's, man. That's fucked up. Chappy, thank you so much for your prime, man. Oh, you know what? I think you're right, Kill. I think it probably didn't like the all caps. That's probably what it is. What's up, Chudo? How you doing? Hi, Alex. If a hot swap socket comes off, can you just solder on a switch instead? Unfortunately, no. Um, there's nothing for the solder to grab on there because the way that the contact pads are, let me show you. Let me just lube this and we'll, we'll do it. No, I didn't like Brockers either. So it's confirmed that PP Pog PP Pog is not readable by the TTS, which is really weird. <clears throat> so see these gold pieces over here with the hot swap socket. So the kale hot swap sockets, um, Soren, it's not on. I'm pretty positive TTS swear protection's not on. 
These won't be there when you have kale hot swap sockets. <clears throat> Someone test it. All right. Guys, don't start swearing on TTS. Please, please don't do that. Jason, thank you so much for tier one, man. Jason10 gifted a tier one sub to Brisk JT. Let's see if it reads Sorians. I hope your Monday was awesome. It was pretty good. I would say that it was not really relaxing per se, but it was like a good mix of everything. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't think I even queued yours up. This didn't even happen over here though. Did it? Did I miss this part where it like had the banner effect? No, I don't know. Well, I'll look at it later. It is not important right now. Band happened, banner happened, did it? Oh, I missed that. I was probably looking down the loop. <clears throat> Saran mute it confirmed. Let's get our dielectric grease. I love this stream. What's up, Skullhead? <clears throat> Dude, I'm not sick or anything, but like my, <clears throat> my throat has been so dry. Uh, and <clears throat> let me get some water, one second. It has been like so dry in here. And I think it's just cause now we have to have the heater on because it's cold outside. So Pug. Miss the sussy ass chat, y'all wild. Dude, why is my throat like <clears throat> so dry? Maybe a diffuser will help. We have a humidifier. Maybe we need to turn that on. When I wake up in the mornings, my throat is shot. It's been like this the last few days. Are you excited to get your derivative? Oh, okay, I got a, good, I got a little story for you guys. So JJW messaged me today and said, he said, I sent you what feels like the most special color. And then he told me it was an A minus stock, but he hopes I enjoy it and it's not hindered by that. Very excited. I don't know what that means. Cause I told him to surprise me with the color. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. <clears throat> I also don't know what A minus stock means. Uh, I don't really care for brass plates to be honest, but to each their own. Sometimes people have made outstanding keyboards with brass plates. I am just not into them personally. I think they're just too uh, metallic sounding in a lot of ways. <clears throat> is the right space bar thing? Let me see. It is. He got you the orange shorts derivative. Wait, was there an orange derivative that I'm not aware of? Don't lie to me right now. Maybe something really uh, akin to a really nice B stock. Yeah, it's funny because I'm actually, uh, I'm actually not, I'm, I don't mind like B stocks and A minus stocks and whatever stocks. If it has a little damage on it and it means I get it like significantly cheaper, I'm all here for it, bro. As long as it works, I could care less. <clears throat> Sorry guys for clearing my throat so often. I don't know what's going on. Scratches on the inside, probably no one will see it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. It's really hard to break those these boards. Yeah. Like, unless the damage is outstanding to the point where it doesn't even close, then sure. Maybe that's a bit of a problem. I think A minus is just manufacturer having too high tolerance for anode quality. A minus has always looked good. Okay. I, it's been a while since I've gotten anything like above like a B, B stock, you know? 
for non factory new boards, I guess, or I don't know the way to describe it, but basically if it's already considered A plus, like I've only ever gotten B. Uh, I don't mind B stock because my clumsy ass make the finish look like the weight of Alex's Wendy TKL. Sorry, too soon. Damn. I almost forgot that I did that to that board. And then you're going to bring that right back up. That is crazy to me. Now I feel incredibly bad about myself. Uh, Alex. Yes, Soren. Potter's B stock is impeccable. I've always liked Gray Studio stuff for even B stock, like it's always been pretty good. <clears throat> Hear me out, weather the board? How do you weather an Anno board? See, I've never done anything like that. I can understand like custom patina, but I've never done it to like aluminum. Is Mode Sonnet my number one pick for 75s? Tomo or Mode Sonnet would be my, my two picks. I don't think there's anything else for 75s that I've been like, over the moon about recently? But where are you, where are you gonna get a 7V? That, that, that's what I'm trying, Tomo you can still buy, right? I like, think they have B stock Tomos, right? I don't know, I, I, if I see boards that don't exist like for, for retail anymore, it's, I feel like bad for suggesting that, you know? It's just like, oh yeah, buy this board you can't buy anymore. It's like, I feel out of touch if I do that. What board is your dad using these days? So, if you guys haven't realized, mainly because I didn't really bring it out too often, uh, he really, he took a liking to that uh, Matrix Navi board that I built. So when he was over, he looked at it, and I said, do you want it? Because it has that, uh, it's the Nuremberg one. So it has like the Formula One car little logo on it. And he loves that. So he uh, <clears throat> he ended up taking, well, I, I gave it to him. I said, here, you can take it home. Alex, your chat is so toxic. Why, Evo? Why is our chat toxic? Because someone, did someone disagree with you, Evo? What's happening? We'll get to the bottom of this, Evo. Tell me what happened. He dropped his 7V. Okay, who reminded you, Evo? They deserve a timeout. Was that Kenny? <laughs> Kenny did? That's fucked up, Kenny. That's real fucked up, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Papa. <laughs> I've yet to drop a board. I've dropped one or two. Not in, okay, well not from high heights. I've just, they've slipped out of my hand and I've dropped them on the desk. Of course you would have, Soren. Of course you would have. I wouldn't have it any other way with you, Soren. What's the clackiest switch? Um, you know what's pretty clacky? Wu Che switches. Those things are pretty damn clacky, in my opinion. I would say Luce switches, above all, are pretty clacky. Okay, there's enough washers there. Ooh, I need to go through all these, put these in little baggies one day. I think there's enough screws with all this. Perfect. <clears throat> they really are? I think so too. Puke, what's going on, dude? Uh, check out uh, Zinhai switches from HMI. Oh, I think, was it you who recommended to me those last time? I need to take a look at those. There's a few things for, for uh, switches that you guys have been telling me about that I need to take a look. Because at this point, I'm curious. Where do I go after an Evolve? Ooh, what do you mean by that, Winnie? Do you mean like, after you purchase and evolve what to go next? Where does any one of us go after keyboards? It's been a quiet day on Twitch for keyboard streams. Dude, so today I was actually in the mood to watch tons of Twitch streams and just content today because I was lubing switches and then I lubed another batch for tomorrow's stream earlier, uh, which I might actually lube another batch because I'm not positive on this. Anyways, 
Yeah, there's not been not much many people on. I'm a I'm a little I was a little sad today to to see that. Definitely a little down. Um, mango that has happened. That has indeed happened. What am I doing? I need to put the stabs in first. And when that has happened, we'll do one at a time. Uh, I have filed chargebacks or just taken the loss. Um, a good thing I could, oh, I saw Apiary on, but literally that was like the one hour I couldn't watch any streams because I was on the phone. Um, so basically, what happened was, if you guys want to know another story, one time a vendor contacted me uh, early on when they first started. And I was pretty excited to get to work with people at the time. Like it was, you know, it was also like someone that I trusted. And uh, they asked me to do some designs for them for desk pads. And I said, sure, I'll do those. And they offered me a royalty. So I did a lot of, I spent a lot of time doing art for them. And then also, you know, essentially promoting the stuff that I was drawing because it was stuff that I was proud of. Only for them to turn around and completely abandon their storefront and not pay me at all for their final batch of, like their biggest batch of, um, what's it called, desk pad drops. So, it's happened. And you spend a lot of time and effort. I know it's not exactly a product, but still something that's happened to me, so. When Alex's stream goes on, my pants go off. Huh? What? I hope you're just relaxing and not doing anything else. Relatable. Twitch is now cracking down on sexual jokes. <sighs> that wasn't a joke. That's true. <laughs> Why? Why, Soren? What if everyone's comfortable with it? The Keeb community is effed, whole chat is banned, but people got banned for talking about peepees. Omega lull. Okay, but like, I can understand if there's like a whole conversation happening about something that's 18 plus and it's like a dead ass serious thing with tons of graphic detail. You know what I mean? I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. That's weird. Rip Banhammer. Anyways. Uh, I know, right? We were just joking around being stupid. It's okay. We'll be fine. No, no one fret in here. Oh. Uh, also, this is a very good example of something and I'm gonna show you guys. I always try to show you guys when I almost make a mistake or make a mistake. Um, here. Do you guys see what's wrong with this stab? Can you guys spot what's wrong with it? I know that's not the easiest to see. It's not sitting flush. And from above, it looks fine, right? But when you, if you were to build this all up, solder everything together, see like now it's sitting flush and I just have to screw it in more. It's gonna not actuate properly. And this is what causes either stabs to sound weird or not work. So always be careful about that guys. Um, that is a very common, common thing that actually happens to people when they're building boards. So please be careful. I remember one time, the first time I did that, I built the whole board up 
and it was a plate where it was really hard to access the stabs and I needed to kind of shimmy it around, but I was so stressed out doing it. It was so, so stressful. I'm dead serious about my humor. <laughs> Unseat it and the screw somehow caught that. Stuff in the hole. Something like that. Oh, I added the, the movies and TV show thing in Discord for you guys, by the way. Some of you some of you guys were asking for that, so we did that. Also, are we building this playlist? Do we want to try plate or do we want to try plateless? Now that I know it's 1.2 mil, I'm less inclined to try it plateless, but I'm still down if you guys want me to. Uh, go plate. We can do a vote. I don't know if Oak or Soren's in chat. Maybe we can put a poll up. Like I said, the price point on this board is good. The aesthetics, uh, I think they're not my favorite, but they're also not awful. And then I think the choices that you get for how to build this up is fantastic. And I like the fact they went with the ball catch system. I do feel like they kind of took a lot of inspiration from a bunch of other boards that have been doing all these things and kind of put it on the one, which is fantastic. Let's see, let's see what's gonna win. One time I asked if I should put home my board and he asked, was I bullied in high school? What the, Brocker, that never happened. Someone's gonna take you guys serious one day and, and like report me. And I'm gonna see myself on like Twitter news or X news, whatever they're calling it now. X Twitter, whatever you wanna call it. About how like local keyboard builder bullies people because they use phone. And then it's just gonna be like, oh cage. Those LEDs over the nav clusters are meh. I also agree with you there. I don't like the LED, like these giant LEDs and I don't like the shape of it either. They're not my favorite. I just don't like this accent piece over here. It's just too big. I think if they slimmed it down a little bit, it would have looked really classy, but it feel, I feel like it's just too much and it's kind of distracting. That's a horrible thing to imply, Alex. Don't people, don't deserve to, people don't deserve, be, they deserve to be bullied just because of their put foam on their boards. Oh my Lord. Guys, not today, please. Don't, don't spread the lies. I feel like it's also, it's okay, man, take it. Oh my gosh. Bully me, uwu, what the fuck? Um, what plates they sent? Palm and, oh, we are using a plate. So wait, what do you guys want to use then? Palm or alu? I do appreciate a win key F13 and the orange option, but we'll probably grab a devastating TKL this week. Devastating, pretty nice. Palm, everyone's saying palm. Palm is a hot material at the moment. God damn, everyone's saying palm. All right, all right, all right, palm it is. Palm it is. I would do playlist, but it's 1.2 and I just feel like it's gonna sound rather thin with the playlist option here. I'm a little worried, that's all. Look, we did these earlier, so pretty. For some reason, I thought I had asked for the orange build. Hey Alex, how you doing? First time tuning in, just watching VODs. I hope you enjoyed the VODs. And I hope you enjoy staying here, hanging out with all of us. But thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you, dude. What if it's alu if not for the flex cuts in the plate? Yeah, this plate does have uh, a lot of random flex cuts that don't even match with the flex cuts on the PC or the PCB. Really makes no sense. Don't quite understand it. <laughs> Who's that behind you? I wish it was you, Kiwi. Low key, I think that was pretty smooth. Okay, don't harm me there. Hey, don't make it weird. <laughs> If I could spend my day as an inanimate object in Alex's possession, it would be his comb. 
I know for a fact you lick your comb before you go to town on your chest hair. That, or your keyboard because you finger it. How do you ban Tim? Where's the ban button? I'm timed him out. I don't want to even see that message anymore. Sorry, Tim. Later. <laughs> Save Tim? No, I just timed him out for like one second. What the hell, Tim? That one there was pretty creative, Tim. I'll give you that one there. I'll give you that one there. Oh. There you go. Soren, Soren took action there. So. <laughs> Wasn't me this time. <laughs> Damn, Tim just gets abused. Also, okay, when Tim, when you're back from being timed out, um, are we doing podcast tomorrow still? I think me and Angel meant to ask you, but then I think we both got distracted. So just to confirm. Is plate fork needed for palm? You know, this one here is actually not really needing it. Maybe it's just a tolerance of the switches and stuff too, but kind of easy to press these in. Uh, podcast at tomorrow at 7, Tim. Just want to make sure you're still up for it. <laughs> the history of desk pads. All right, Tim, make it happen. Start making us a little script for the history of desk pads tomorrow. Invite some uh, key desk pad creators on. These are cherry blossom switches. So I think they look pretty nice. They're pretty cute. They're a nice material. They're also a pretty color. They're long pole. <laughs> Next week will be the history of stabilizer wires. Then we can do the history of different lubes in this hobby. That would actually be a very interesting rabbit hole to go down because I feel like at one point, there was so many different alternatives to 205G0. Like, there was tons. And this time, like nowadays, there's like not much at all. Like, you're really, you're really not getting much out of how many different lubes people use. I don't even think 3204 is that popular anymore. Is it? Do you, is it? I don't, I don't, I don't think so, right? I don't really see too many people using 3204 these days. 3203 is really big. Um, there was also like the GHV4, like Puke said. There was also totally different brands that people were using. There was a bunch. GS2 is still really nice. I'm just going through all my 205 that I have. I still really like GS2. GS2 is, I feel like, very easy to apply. You don't really have to think too much while doing it. And it just goes on really nice. Uh, I just built my 265, watch your VODs as a build guide. Thank you. That's why I leave those things up. And that's why we make the hyperlapses. I know that people like referring back to them for like mistakes that I make and, and tips and stuff. So I'm glad that you like it, man. Thank you for being here and supporting my content. Um, just wanna be like that kid on TikTok that uses lavender lotion. Say that again. Who's using lavender lotion? <laughs> Repeat that one more time. Who? You'll find it? This, you're not just joking around. This is an actual real thing. Were they doing it ironically or is this serious? I'm hoping it was ironically. Like It was a membrane too. I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> Would smell good though? Actually, 
Has anyone made scented switches yet? Has anyone done that? I feel like nobody's done that yet. Someone has? Who? Maybe I've just missed it. Dang keeps tip? For which release? Ice latte switches? Were those sterlings? I can't remember. I thought you were about to ask if anyone made scented lube. That would go down a different route of conversation, I think, Trudeau, that I don't I don't even want to bring up on today's stream, you know? I think I think that would just go down a totally different route. Sniff test is the best. Alex, I'm looking to get my first board soon. Any recommendations for a 75? My tippity top recommendation for 75s that I really like is my Sonnet. I know that it's, I'm gonna say this out loud, like I am sponsored by Mode, but I truly, truly think the Sonnet visually is like completely right up my alley. And then sound wise, it's great too. And feeling wise, it has some options, but it's a little bit on the stiffer side, but it's quite nice. I really like the Sonnet. So that's my recommendation. If you're looking for something a bit cheaper, there was also the recently the QK75. That just got max support, which is really good. So I'm glad that happened. Ugh, lavender lotion though, that's crazy. My board smells like Cheetos. What the? I don't know if that's a good thing, my friend. Recommendation for a Neo 65 build. Um, I think long poles would serve you well on that board. Board. I think Obscuras or Cream Sodas or any long pole really would sound really nice in that. It does not like you linking that by the way. Hold on, let me watch this. This is my $10 okay, book. Okay, it's so and loud, Jesus. Why are people yelling in the mics when they do that, bro? Horrible to type on, it's horrible to game on. It's just Wait, let me turn off my music and watch this, one second. Let's lube the switches. So I found a video oh that says God. lubing the switches is very important. Because no, this is this is definitely ironic, bro. I don't have whatever they said, something grease. All I have is lotion, and I've tried this out on other things. It works perfectly fine. It says it's got argan oil, and apparently it absorbs quickly. So I'm thinking this will still work. Here's a sound test before. You see how it's rattly? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some lotion on the Q-tip. And then I'm just going to fill it in the hole so it gives it a smoother experience. The best thing about this, you guys can't see, but he's using a Q-tip. So you get all that nice Q-tip, Q what is it, the, like the threads from the Q-tips? Oh my god, everything's burnt. It smells very good. I'm just trying to fill it into all these little holes where it could make sense. Uh, he's not even lubing the stabilizer. He's just lubing the plastic plate. Add a little bit more, and then I'm gonna use it to fill like the area around. So it's. Just oh wait, was he? Was that a stab he was lubing? I can't even tell. Oh my god, it sounds so much better. Here's the before and after. And then he just muted the video afterwards. What are we watching? Someone put lotion. It's this has to be ironic. There's there's no way that's actually real, bro. Here, it's in, um, I just allowed it through. Gargle just posted it. There's no way that's actually real. That's 100% ironic. Absolutely no way. Oinky doinks, am I saying that correctly? Thank you so much, I appreciate your tier one. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope so. I hope everyone's having a good day, man. You guys all deserve it. <clears throat> I've done WD-40 on one of my old Logitech boards. I mean, that kind of does make sense. Like, it, it is technically still some sort of like lubricant. I just don't know if I'd put hand lotion, you know? I don't think I, my brain would reach to that far. Oh shit. Um. I love how he calls it his booger keyboard. Wait, what? All right. Now let's solder this guy in. His cute switches. Yeah. With the with the palm plate, this looks really cute. I'm into this. 
I wish the PCB was white. This would be completely very like pastel-y if it was. Oh. Barbie cake looking board, pretty in pink. Not like lavender. <laughs> Listen here, guys. Oh, this is not staying. Well, good thing we didn't do plateless. All right, let's warm up my iron. Alu is black. That would have looked really nice for this too, because it would have been like all blacked out, but. Do they make black palm plates? Has, has anyone ever seen that? I'm not sure if they do. Why is my camera here? Ah, uh, it's funny here for now. There's no reason to be on my desk at the moment. I think my Envoy palm plate is black. Oh, you, you're right. I'm, I'm just having a brain fart of, yeah, okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. I totally forgot about that. I left it there by accident. Whoa, come pick it up. Alrighty, time to solder. You guys are right. Yeah, I totally forgot. Okay, this one switch. I guess we'll do this later. Oh, can I get this in now? Nope. Push lotion on the switches or the, what? Pasta la vista? How you doing, man? Well, hello there once again. Hello, how are you doing today? I hope life is going swell for you. Thank you so much for the tier one. No, not bad, my guy. Love that for you, bro. Unfortunately, the switches are not, I'm gonna do the four corners for this and get this like in, but the switches aren't really staying in here to the PCB. A little bit of a nuisance, but we'll get, we'll get through it. Uh, I saw the sub with him went crazy. Dude, we gave away a lot of keyboards. We'll do some more giveaways towards Christmas time, though. Hey, Alex, have you ever made a soldering guide? No, I feel bad because I haven't because I keep saying I'm gonna. But then I... At one point, I recorded it like four times and I wasn't happy with any of my like my video or anything. And I was like, you know what? I'll just do this some other time. But it's it's being written as a written guide right now, just because I feel like that's probably a better choice for me. For your mode Envoy collab, was there a reason why you pick FR4 to be included? Um, in my testing with the majority of different switches that I tried on the FR4 versus the aluminum plate in a hot swap build, more sounded better on the FR4 plate. And I didn't want people to have to pick a, an aluminum plate and then not like it. So I'd say again, because the, the majority of switches sounded better on the FR4, I just went with FR4. It just made more sense to, to go with that. All right, so these all in now. Uh, did the stream just crash? No, never mind, just my internet. I feel you there, bro. I feel you there. Unrelated, but plate forks are a gift from above. 
I've been telling you, man. I've been trying to put everyone on to plate forks because they are low key, actually high key. The best thing about the quality of life, small purchases that you can make to improve your building experience for keyboards. Technically a gift from Fang. That is very true. Good old Fang Studios. Um, I got my plate fork from, if you type in exclamation point fork, I think, I think it'll come up. So it'll be Fang Studios. I think that's the command. Fork me? No, that's the wrong command, Evo. Uh, what is FR4? FR4 is basically a fiberglass material. Yeah, I'm gonna have to treat this as like a plateless build, unfortunately, guys. So we're gonna probably spend a little bit more time going through soldering these. I hope you guys don't mind. Because the switches aren't really staying seated in the PCB. Take all the time you need, I appreciate that. Could be my switches, also could be the tolerance of this PCB too. Uh, a lot are PCBs, yeah. Or apparently CEM, which I don't really know what the composition of materials for CEM is. It's super chill and enjoyable to watch. I appreciate that, Elora. CM3 is really nice. So what is it exactly? Means more time with our dad? Thank you, Gargle. Appreciate you, bro. Uh, yes, that is a PC Kuhaku. I have it built with Cherry Nixies. Pretty happy with the way it turned out. The PC makes it surprisingly a little bit more uh, basier than the aluminum model, which is uh, pretty nice. Karan, how you doing, man? How are things? How is life? Hi, I'm planning on building my first keyboard. Plan on getting the mode Envoy with Oil Kings. Nice combination. Any advice on plate? Um, so my question for you guys is what weight choice did you pick already? Because my, my answer will vary slightly based off of the weight choice that you use. For a green board, mass, I would definitely pick wob. Or actually, depending on what kind of blue it is. If it's a nice deep blue, blue might look really nice on that, like Polybius. Looks really good on green boards. Trying to stay productive? I feel you, bro. We need to do a photo walk downtown or something, man. I was planning on getting the silver mirror. Um, if you go with that, I'd probably go with aluminum. But you'd probably be also very happy with something like carbon fiber or FR4 as well. I think you'll be in a good spot no matter what you choose there. Top three GMK sets. Uh, Miklon is definitely number like in the top three right now. GMK Nautilus, believe it or not, even though it's blue, just because it holds a special place in my heart. And then dude, I would definitely go I don't know actually for a third. I, I want to pick either Monokai Material or Boneyard as my number three unit there, but I don't know. Even Polybius is nice though. Maybe Polybius would go up there too. <clears throat> You're a Greg enjoyer and you know it. You have no proof for this.
Wait, actually, you might have proof of this. I don't want to know if you do. Oh, boy. Oh, I have proof? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Rainbow, Greg, hand tarbite goated. Wow. Wow. Rainbow, Greg, and Handrabite. Thank you, Asian dude. I appreciate you, man. Um, all good choices, except maybe Greg. Maybe Greg's not the most best choice, but I appreciate you for picking that, man. Nah, Greg's fine. I'm not going to shit on Greg anymore, guys. I'm tired of shitting on poor Greg. He's just trying to be a good boy. I don't even want to see it. I already know what Kenny's in the link. I don't even need to see it, man. Listen here, Kenny. What did Greg ever do to you? It scares me, okay? I actually just took some nice photos of Greg, okay? You still gaming? Um... I don't know what I'm playing anymore these days. I want to go through Baldur's Gate 3 one more time. Maybe that's what I want to do. I've been playing a little bit of Battlefront with one of my other pals. Actually, a few of us got on last night, but... Battlefront, low-key though, kind of reeled with cheaters right now, so... What have you guys all been playing? Uh, to a point of it simply being beyond annoying. What, Greg? Soren, do you like Greg? I, I don't know if you do. I'm assuming you don't. The current state of LT uh, Apex LTM is super fun, but it's going away tomorrow. Why is that? League gearing up for WoW? That's fair. Backpack Battles is a fun auto-battler. When you say auto-battler, do you mean like a mobile game? Uh, Apex, uh, Apex Legends and Dota. Dota's pretty fire. Yeah, Apex was definitely my, uh, my go-to choice at one point, but I feel like I burned myself out on that game, man. I was playing, like, every day. Like, whenever I'd have a bit of time at night, I would just, like, play with some friends, and I do feel like I kind of killed it for myself. I probably shouldn't have played so much of Apex. I'll tell you what, Apex is still better than Valorant. Yeah, no matter how many times I play it. Sorry, Valorant enjoyers. Any sets you regret not picking up? Ooh, there's definitely been a few over the years. There's definitely been a few. I know I can pick up some of them still, but like... I don't know. Love hearing you stand Apex, go to game. Yeah, I've definitely, definitely, definitely enjoyed it. I, uh... I think it was one of the better games that have come out in a long time from all these competitive video game surge things that have been happening. Some of the decisions they made in the game were questionable, and I still think the audio is pretty ass in that game, but it is what it is. Blinks? Sorry, but you also have a bias with blank keycaps. To be fair. You love your blank keycaps. So I, I don't know if what you say can be taken <laughs> taken other than your opinion, you know? Valorant is like CSGO on LSD. I would argue against that. Valorant is just... It's, it's probably a good game. Put it this way. Valorant's probably good. I don't know, though, because every time I play, I play with the most... I can't even think of a nice way to say this, so I'm not going to even bother saying it. Here, I got something. Rude people. Val is trash as you peaked gold? No. No. My, my girlfriend is ranked, uh, I, don't know, I don't know what rank she is right now, because I don't think she's playing as much these days. She was like the one below the top rank, was it Ascendant? 
And she was getting pretty close to what, Immortal? Or I think, I don't know if she hit Immortal or not. I played for her a few times. Um, like when she had me just sit on the game because she needed to get up or something. The people in that rank are also just as much of an asshole as the people on gold, silver, plat, whatever. They're all very rude and they're all stuck up. Let's just say you get a very colorful bunch of people. Exactly. <laughs> the riot effect. You play riot game equals you be toxic. Yes, sir. That's literally how that game works. But I love TFT. TFT have only ever in encountered one toxic player. Everyone else has been very friendly. Extremely, extremely friendly. Dude, TFT is so chill. I agree. It's my go-to game, and I just want to sit down and not think about anything but the game that is. TFT is like an auto-battler. Think of it like a, uh, sort of like a bad analogy maybe, but kind of like a game of chess. Positioning pieces on the board. Um... Strategy involved with different compositions you can make. Genuinely a lot of fun. If chess, uh, chess of the pieces. Yeah, that's true too. It is like RNG chess. I, I agree with Chudo on that. Chudo, do you play TFT? Ooh. Is my pin bent on this one? No, it's just really, really warped. Uh, I do not play TFT. You know what, I don't, I don't blame you. Sometimes TFT is very time consuming. I'm back on WoW. I don't envy you. When I was playing WoW, man, I spent a lot of time on that game. I think I just spent way too much time playing WoW to the point where it was just affecting my life. So I can't really do MMOs because I get I get too like fixated on grinding those games out. So it's healthier if I stay away from them. TFT is fun because you can jump in after being gone for a few sets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's kind of fun rediscovering things. For sure on that, for sure. Oh, that thing is definitely worked. Hold on one second. Uh, do I have my switch puller? Did I not have a switch puller on my desk today? Oh yeah, it's all the way down there. Moment is set to arrive tomorrow. Ooh, that's gonna be a nice, fun little keyboard to build. Do you already know what you're going to be building with? Um, have I tried the Hyacinth V2s? I feel like those sound really familiar and I feel like I might have, but I, I don't want to say yes when I don't know the answer to that. Oh, I would definitely pick the XOX70. I actually really like my XOX70. They let me keep the prototype unit and I'm so glad that they did because I know there was like a big fiasco with Mexico. I never dealt with Mexico on that. I dealt with the designers directly. Who's actually a really good person. But uh, a really good guy, I'd say. I don't know if they're a good person. It was really friendly to me. But uh, yeah, I'm very, I'm very uh, glad that Novel Keys is going to be uh, picking that up, kind of. Super, super, super glad about that. I'm going to go wash my hands really quick. Did I solder everything in? Yes, I did. I think so. All right. Be right back. Here, you guys can look at the switches.
No riot? What the? Aside from my wife wondering why I'm watching Twitch with no pants on, doing well? God damn. Huh? <clears throat> All right. Oh, I did miss a few switches. It's okay, you know what? We'll do these quick. I missed these three. How did I miss that is the question. I'll never play another Riot game in my life. Honestly, Chudo, I don't blame you. Did you have a bad experience with toxic friends or toxic people? Seriously, do not blame you there. <laughs> Their next two games are gonna be fire, what, Riot? Aren't they making like an MMO or something? Hi, Angel. Angel, if you need me to um, get you a good slot for commissions, I can do that for you, Angel. <sighs> good night, Jushi. Take care. Uh, bro, I became toxic when I play Riot games. Angel, actually, quick question, off topic a little bit. I know, Angel, you're trying to get my attention with the sussy thing, but have you played Valorant? Like, I don't, I don't remember if you ever have. I, I don't recall. Unfortunately, I have. <laughs> um, okay, on a, like being 100% serious. Would you say, okay, would you say that the game's community... Actually, what, what is your thoughts, like being... Not not trolling or anything. Like, what was your thoughts between the two? Because I know you're really into Counter Strike. Why am I turning this back on? Wrong thing. Like, why would you say that it's like inferior to Counter Strike? A true sex symbol of the gaming community. Who Angel? Angel's a good-looking fellow, indeed. Indeed, he is. CS players are way more toxic, though. Yeah. Wait, in CS, okay, maybe because I haven't played in a while. In CS, did it auto force you to join the, there was like an option. I, I think it's the option, this is the same thing for, for Valorant. Okay, no, actually when I did play Counter-Strike, it wasn't as bad. The Counter-Strike players would give you a quick trip with things, but like the Valorant players, they kind of like, the, there's kind of like those people who just put the mics in their mouth and then just never stop just yapping. And it's just like yap central when you play with them. At least with the, with the, with the CS players, it was like, you get a quick little chirp here and there. And then that was really about it. That was, that's, that's my experience from when I used to play CS and me playing Valorant nowadays. All right, let's open this guy here up. I know this is the ball catch system, but because they made the, the frame so thin on the back, it is a little bit tough to kind of grab. CS is like team kill around, everything is fine. CS average age is much older, the toxicity is kind of different. Maybe that's why, truly. All right, where is those little gaskets? I know I stuffed them to the side here, but. Ground, put those away, don't need these anymore. Don't need these. Let's move some stuff out of the way here. There we go. Feet and gaskets. I think most competitive games with matchmaking have a degree of toxicity. Yeah, un unfortunately, that's the thing, right? Unfortunately. Okay, so, a little, little quick thing before we go too far into talking about the other stuff. Um, interesting. So they, they are offering what they call like variable gaskets or whatever the term they used was. So essentially it would be like the middle one. You can do all three, you can do just the edges. Um, I'm going to try doing just the middles. I forget what they're labeling each one as. 
it, it's a it's not a brand new type of thing. People have done this before with boards. I always appreciate stuff like this because you can kind of pick where you want the little gasket tabs. So I'm here for it. I think I'm just gonna do one on each and see how this feels. Like the most, and leave this one here out completely. Mounting point right on the space bar feels good. I don't, I really don't get why they put this here. Actually, you know what? Just for the sake of this not being too crazy, I'll put one right here, which is just off of this base bar. Uh, no troll, shot, um, shot bloom and competitive FPS should not be a thing. It has nothing to do with communities. It's actually game mechanics that I don't like. A game based on skills should not have an aim range before you shoot. your shot is entirely random. On top of that, if you're trying to make it a serious FPS, then why make it about abilities? I, I, I actually feel you on that last part. That was like my main gripe too, Angel, honestly. I, I feel you there. Uh, and then these are PCB O-ring foot pads. I'm actually not too sure what to do with this. Let's see. These, I have absolutely no idea what to do. These are feet, and these are PCB pads. But problem is, oh my God, please, please. Where's my tweezers? I don't actually know where to put these. Do these just go, did they go somewhere on the PCB? That make no sense. Let's see what they said in the, uh, on bottom case. They don't go here. These are too, too big for that. No, these circles are for the gaskets. That's why I'm not too sure. I didn't see anything about this. Hmm. No, I don't think they go there, guys. They don't have that in their picture. It just says silicone dumbbell gaskets. I don't know. Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm honestly not sure. Yeah, these don't fit here. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Cause it says they're supposed to be what? What's the, what the, what the bag say? PCB stabilizer, O-ring, foot pads, and anti-shock silic silicone pads. Is the idea to put these on the weight? No, they don't have it there. I don't know. We're just not going to use it. First shot accuracy literally gets called out a lot in CSGO. Honestly, I always felt like the first shot accuracy was really fun. It was kind of like a skill thing in Val. I always feel like more tempted to run and gun in Val when I was playing Valorant. Oh my God, this is like, this is gonna be okay. I feel like there's a lot of shifting around with these dumbbell gaskets, but Let's see, let us see if this is gonna be nice. It is just using a, yeah, like look, look how much shifting around here. Hold on one sec. Okay, now it's better. I just had to close it nicer. It wasn't actually closed all the way. All right, well, that's interesting. Okay, let's put these things away because I actually don't really understand what these are for. Uh, it's similar to the cycle seven, but instead of uh, the beans and the, yeah, yeah, this would be, so you can actually be piece, like, I think, let me start over. This keyboard has a lot of strong points, right? So it's kind of having the same idea as that cycle seven with, you know, the gaskets the system it had there, the catch ball system. 
I like the fact that there's just tons of ways to build this. I like what they did with the potentially using plate mount, or uh, sorry, um, PCV mount if you really want to. I like that. I think the only thing so far about this board that I'm not like a super fan about is the aesthetic of the top. The price point's good with this. It's like what? Um, that price point's what? 165 I said, and can go up to 225 if you want the titanium weight. But the titanium weight's kind of low-key ugly. I, uh, I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I think all those little like weights or uh, pictures they put on it, like the pattern was not too pretty looking. Yeah, so let's go over the prices one more time. Let's go to their little price thingy mabobber here. So, uh, it starts at 165 for a solder PCB in aluminum weight. All right? And it says in the package contents that you get the internal brass. Uh, it goes then to 175. Let's just pause the music. 175 if you want a hot swap PCB. So it's an extra 10 bucks for hot swap. Then if you want a per key RGB PCB, it's an extra $5. Then if you want a tri-mode hot swap PCB, it's another $5. So $185 at that point. Then if you want a PVD weight like I have right, right here, so this is going to be the PVD one. Um, I'm pretty positive this is what they're calling PVD weight. This is going to be $190. So this is the version with a PVD titanium alloy weight. Then... Uh, they're going to have a hot swap version of that for, for $10 more and then a per key one for $5 more there. The only, so th that caps out at 210 The only one that gets more expensive is when you start getting into the E-white or any of the um, E-coat colors. Those are going to be, the highest version of those is 225 But if I look at this correctly... Uh, PVD silver weight. So is that silver weight considered? No. Hold on. I think maybe they have this a little bit awkward too for their pricing. I'm a little confused by what they mean by PVD weight with titanium alloy weight because they only have two titanium alloy weights, but they also have PVD other weights. So I'm not too sure how the price will work for that. I'm, I think maybe they mean slash. Oh, there is a slash there. I'm just stupid and didn't see that. So yeah, so this version is 190. Redeemed a compliment for mint. You know what's never stupid? Loving mint. All right, that's the smartest thing anyone can ever do. Mint, love you. Wait, can I get a compliment for the person above me? Pluto. Pluto, you know what's never stupid? Loving you, Pluto. You have X and O in your name and I'd love to give you some hugs and kisses. All right, bro? I hope you're having a good day today. I added something, Chudo. Come on. Uh, I don't have a release date, unfortunately. I just got TBA. It might be in this document, though. Because they, they updated this since last I checked. Uh, beats me. You know, low-key, I kind of like the non-PVD weights. I think those are kind of prettier. Yeah, it doesn't say for me. I don't have any info on that, guys. It's the only thing I don't have info on. Is that a Starbucks mug? No, this is a, just a mug I got from Keebs for All, I think. They sent me a little thing with like a keyboard, like like a gift thing, I don't know. They said, here you go, and I got a mug. <laughs> so I just got it. It looks like one of the ones I have. It might be the same one. Do you ever have to pay for Keebs? There are a lot of keyboards I buy. Two of the keyboards in the last giveaway were paid by by me. So they're calling the one in the middle the medium gaskets, the ones that we used. Um, okay, let's let's see how this is gonna perform, I guess. Actually, I just want to make sure it turns on. Oh, it does. See, I don't know. How do you guys feel about the RGB on the top? Do you guys think that's like too aggressive, too much like in your face? Oh, did they have it on Geek Hack? It's Q? I didn't see it on Geek Hack. It's right here. Yeah, 
you can turn it off, but I just think this whole accent piece is just a lot. Maybe, maybe it'll look better with the keycaps. You know what? Maybe we're judging a book too quickly. Maybe it's just too quick. Uh, let's get some keycaps out. You know what we're gonna use today? I think today's a perfect day. Fuck. I don't know, oh, okay. You guys heard that? I'm so sorry. I had it upside down the entire time, but we're still gonna we're still gonna do a uh... dude. It was upside down the entire time. Not my fault. I think this is the right way. We're we're not gambling. Let's gamble. Let's just do it. Let's have some fun. They're just points. They're just channel points. If it was anything serious, I'd say no. Prediction. Start prediction. You guys know the rules. You guys already know the rules. <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry, man. I thought I stored this the right way up. It's so confusing sometimes with GMK boxes that don't have like any determining, like maybe I should have known cause like what those things on the bottom, my bad, man. That's my bad. I didn't mean for that, this to happen this way. I really didn't mean for it to happen. That's on me, dude. I'm real sorry. I would love it if this set was perfect, man. I would absolutely go like wild if it was. Bro, I'm all in. Let's go, David. I'm with you, Kenny. I love that. Absolutely love that, dude. All right. So many people are just going all in on yup. Man, this is gonna be the biggest upset ever if this is perfect, bro. Uh, it's serious enough that we can't gamble in I, I've heard certain countries don't allow the gambling prediction stuff. Hey, but on, on a real note though, you guys know I hate like actual gambling with money guys. Please, for the love of everything good, don't do it. Um, it is, it is not good, bro. There, you ne like, even when you think you're winning, you're never winning. All right, have some fun in here. We can do this stuff because it's fun to predict and spend some points, channel points, which are you know meaningless. There's no thing you can do it. Do not do it though, bro. For real. How many times do I have to tell you that was an arcade? <laughs> yeah, I know. Get it twisted, gamble, please start gambling. Gambling is an investment. What the average? Looks like you're spamming stuff. Might have to time you out. Uh, I'm hitting a big today. You'll become a billionaire. No, sorry, don't pin that. That's not good, we shouldn't pin that. I'm deleting this message. <laughs> Found the kick employee. I can't, all right. Everyone start praging right now. If this is upside down again, I'm so fucking sorry. I don't know which way is up with this set, man. I'm thinking this is the right way up. Okay, it is. Let's do a quick little visual inspection. What do you guys think? How is it looking? A little quick visual inspection. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lotus, how you doing, man? Oh, I have a bad feeling about this, man. I heard something that I probably shouldn't have heard. Oh, shit. Wait a second. Ah, oh, that's acceptable. Acceptable. Oh, no, that's acceptable. This is just a little crooked. That's it. It's acceptable. Look on the right. What? There's nothing wrong. Oh, we got one more. 
Don't, don't, everyone don't lose their minds right away. Ah, uh, sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. Damn, that had a good run. That had a good run, dude. This was almost, you guys almost cashed out on no, bro. That we have to follow the rules, man. That one cap is completely out of place. No, we're not calling it a draw, Soren. Come on. Prediction, this was not, or sorry, this was messed up, guys. This was indeed messed up. We're giving this a yup. This was indeed messed up. No, actually, okay. My rule is if it shifts back and forth here, that's fine. That's like bound to happen. This is a little twisted. That's fine. That's bound to happen too. Like it's, it's gonna happen. Like nothing I can do about that. Everything here is good. But when that happens, when it's completely upside down, unfortunately, unfortunately, I can't do much there. This is a pretty set. What do you guys think of this? That's how you know they're authentic. Yeah, fake GMK caps come perfect. This is Hootie. I'm over sub legends, that's fair. I also do like my clean alphas, but I don't mind very subtle ones like this. I have no idea what this board's gonna sound like. I do potentially wanna open this back up and try the different, uh, all the different things that we can put in here for the gaskets. I'm thinking of getting that set too, it's cute. I like it a lot, it's a nice set. Here, let's do this. Let's make it a little easier for me so I don't have to reach too crazy over here. Dane is bullying me in DMs. Dane, don't bully Howie. Be nice to him. Hey Alex, am I better off buying a soldered PCB with hot and a hot swap PCB? Um, with oh, wait, what? Buy a solder PCB with hot swap PCB. I've never soldered before, but want to learn? Yeah, if you if you have the money, Frankie, just buy one of each. Practice on the solderable one. Um, there's even cheaper th cheaper things you can you can buy. Someone redeemed flip the spacebar. Wait, what? No, no one did. I don't know how I feel, I'm gonna feel about this, to be honest. Before I, before I judge this though, let's put all the keycaps on. I think I might wanna put all those gaskets on. I think maybe doing the one is just causing it to be a little bit too wobbly. But we'll see. This is weird looking Greg. It is weird looking Greg, and I'm fine with that. Pen pop, pasta la vista with the pen pop. Howie is bullying me in DMs. Okay, too many people are bullying too many people in DMs. Be nice guys. Ooh. I actually just have the pen pop as the sub sound too. That's what you guys hear every time when someone subs is just a pen pop noise. Howie's being nice to me in DMs. I love that for you, Chudo. Guys, be nice. Look, look how, look how happy Chudo is. Such a nice noise. It's so satisfying. There are certain like noises like that that just make me very happy. This is a really pretty set, actually. Do you guys think so? So far? Damn, I like this. Coffee time, thank you. Mm. 
You know what's set? Also, I'm just gonna say that I work for Novel Keys, so just take this for what it is. You know what set I think is really nice? That I think is gonna be a set that not a lot of people get into, but then go crazy for afterwards, as per the norm. Um, GMK CYL Nightlife. The new one that's on Novel Keys there, by, designed by Beep. I think that's gonna be a very um, sought after set after it goes out of stock. Guarantee it. It has a lot of novelties in it that look really good. I have a feeling people are gonna sleep on it and then pay extra for it afterwards. Beep designed it. What do you do for novel keys? I do their social media stuff. That's why I always tell you guys before I say anything about novel keys or whenever I speak about anything novel keys related, I, I preface it with, you know, I work for them, yada, yada, yada. Uh, hey guys, have a great evening, Alex in the chat. Take care, Steel. Was that Steel one? Steel one, take care. Love you, buddy. Have a good one. Oh, I don't need this right now. Print, scroll, pause. This is a uh, very flexy and I, I think I do want to put all the gaskets in. This is a little too flexy for my liking. Were there any passports you thought were aesthetically amazing but completely missed the mark on sound? Oh yes, there has been so many boards. So many boards that have just been like, this is pretty but sounds so, so bad. Not bad. Huh. Now for examples to give you. Um, damn, that's a tough one to think of an example, but I know there has been. What would you guys say? Not sure if you're authorized to do so, but do you know if NK is gonna have a Black Friday or Cyber Monday sale? Yes. I don't know if Mike's already talked about it. I don't wanna take away from the announcement tomorrow, um, but I'll tell you, just wait till tomorrow morning because I think Wendell or myself will post some details in the NK server, but it's gonna be pretty nice. Essentially, uh, it will be like 40% off a lot of things with some exceptions, obviously, which is, I think what we did last year too. I can't remember, but I think you guys will enjoy the sale. I'll post a full list of it tomorrow or Wendell will or something like that. Didn't he say 95%? I don't think anyone said 95 don't know if anyone said that. On his last stream, 90, oh, like 95% off or 95% of the things. Yeah, there's gonna be a few exceptions. Sorry, I thought you meant 95% off. I was like, God damn. I don't know if that's true. All right. Igu and Alex, what keycaps would you recommend for a PC board? Everything works with Polycarb. Okay. But Igu, if I had to give you one set that I think looks really good, Polybius. I think Polybius looks really good and I think Polybius is available. Okay, guys, I'm not, I, fuck. I wanna, I'm gonna do a little type test with this. Guys, this is way too, this is too bouncy for me. I know they said this was medium, but I feel like this is probably their, I don't know, I feel like they have it wrong. All right, let's see what this sounds like. We're using cherry blossom switches, um, the palm plate, and then we're doing this singular, which is supposed to be the medium. Um, one for the, what do they call them? Dumbbell gaskets. Let's see what this sounds like. Yeah, I don't even know, want to know what soft is. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell what these key caps are. This is. This 
It's not bad. Yeah, for like the price point of 165, I don't know if the weight will make that all big of a difference, but because it has a brass internal weight anyways. It's not bad. I do not a fan of the way this feels right now. So I am gonna swap out the way the internal works here. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of this right now in terms of the way it feels. Let me get back those little things, even though I just put them away. Those dumbbell gaskets. Quick release keeps. It's it's handy to have, as you guys can tell. It's pretty handy. Your space bars always sound ten times better than mine. Man, I I I have a feeling all your guys' space bars sound absolutely great. You guys are just you guys are joking my ass or something. I bet your guys' space bars sound better than mine. There's no way mine sound that good. No way. Go soft just for funsies on the last build. I feel like the middle one is the softest. Because they say soft is just the these two and leaving the middle out. Which I'm, I'm finding a hard time believing. I already have a feeling this is going to sound better. Oh my gosh. It's the Duroc V2 Magic. I'm telling you, Duroc V2s and cherries. Cherry, cherry and Duroc lead the way for me, bro. I am telling you. Ain't nothing else to it. Short the PCB speed run, any percentage? <laughs> uh, I have a space bar ping on the left side that I'm trying to get rid of, so annoying. That's always a toughie. I, I don't really know all the answers to those because there's so many variables when it comes to space bars and stuff. All right, so, oh, this is much firmer now. I already like this a lot more. Okay, I also think this sounds a lot better too. It's very subtle, but. Oh, well, I need to lube the stab a little bit. This is really nice for the price point. Backspace is okay. Everything else is good though. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this. I don't like this again. I really, really, really don't like this top piece over here, but yeah, I'm liking this. The JRS series has always been a series that I've been a very, um, I've been very hit and miss on liking it. Yeah, I agree with you. I think backspace is always tough to get right, especially on TKLs. But yeah, backspace is a, is a toughie, but I do think this does sound pretty good. And the JRS series has always been a series that I've never been completely in love with. They've been kind of hit and miss. Alex Zotto's builds a keyboard with care. His mustache gleams, his smile so fair and rare. But beware, for he wields oh. power. Don't you dare fear him, lest you be detained in despair. Love you, dude. Love you too, man. Snick, I hope you have a good day today, man. Sounds so much better once you uh, actually lube the stabilizer. Other than that, alphas are pretty good. Arrows are good. So these are cherry blossom switches. I'm I'm liking this board. I think the price point's right. I think the aesthetics are not 100% my thing, but I'm still very much liking this board. 
Oh, that's smart. They actually put like a little, like a grip tab on these so you can just lift this out. But I, again, I do think the board's pretty. I like that they have some magnetic accents on the back. That's cool. So you can swap those out quickly. Uh, there's a lot of good elements to this board. So the quick release catch ball system is also very nice. Board sounds good. Hell, I even think if you were to stick a piece of foam in this, this would sound pretty decent as well. Um, so, I do want to try one piece of foam, if you guys don't mind. Oh, my foam's right here. I just want to see what it sounds like. Yep, we're going to do that right now. Are cherry blossoms on the louder side? I would say they're kind of in the middle, to be honest. I wouldn't say they're like incredibly loud. Here, we're gonna put just this one piece in over here. It's a little bit thinner. You wanna try the soft setting for the stabs? Or for the, uh, not the stabs, the gasket system. Actually, let me flip this around one more time. I wanna see how much it moves. Yeah, we can try this off. We can do that right now too. Like I said, the keyboard's very easy to open up and put together and stuff, so I have no quarrels trying this. All right. Let's just see what it sounds like first with this, and then we'll go to the soft setting. Missing a gasket. Did a gasket fall out? Where'd it go? Huh? Where did my one gasket go? Okay, well, I'll just put it back in. Maybe I forgot to put it in. Look under the foam. No, it wasn't there. It was all flat. Thoughts? Actually, not bad. It sounds flat though. Am I wrong on the, it sounding kind of flat with the foam inside of it? Huh, yeah, I also preferred. Yeah, it's, it's flatter. It's just like it has no depth. All right, well, that's interesting. And then the last one we'll do is we'll take out this foam. Goodbye. And we'll just try the soft setting, which is taking out these middle dumbbells, they said. See if that changes anything. I don't know if this will be a trampoline. This doesn't feel... Dude, there's no way this is, I think the medium setting that they have on their website, like the setting, but like, you know, like. It's a little softer than the last one we tried with all the dumbbell gaskets inside of it. There's no way. Sounds pretty good, man, actually, I like this. No, the first way we did, which was their medium with the single dumbbell in the center of their gasket system, that was way flexier. This is not flexy. Like this is nowhere remotely to how that first one felt. The, the circle thing is for the force break underneath the top case. There's a little section for that. Let's see. These things? Oh, I wish they made that more clear. Cause they did not put that on the, um, here, let's see. They did not put that on the little instruction thingy. Uh, here, I'll go grab them, we'll put them on top. You would think they would make that a little clearer. 
anti-shock silicone pads. Well, now we can try it with this too to see if it does make a difference. I see where they're supposed to go though. They guess they go right here. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Maybe this will make a gigantic difference in terms of sound profile. Let's see. <clears throat> but good call out. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, Zook. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I definitely do not think the board is any flexier in its soft position. I think they have that backwards, man. For sure. There's no way, absolutely no way that, that well, that's correct on their website. Omni has Tihi desk pads, they do. All right, let's see if these make any difference. Now we're, we put those little anti shot what do they call them? That sounds the same to me. I don't even think they need those things. Sounds exactly the same. It's still nice though, I like it. Maybe, maybe that's what it is, Kill. All right, so at 165, I'm not gonna complain about this. I think you get a lot in the box for 165. Um, the few pieces of criticism that I probably have are all aesthetic. I just think the design is all over the place. They have like a triangle theme here on the back, but then it moves into like some lines here on the front over here. It's, it's not like super duper cohesive uh, in terms of design. So maybe that's where it really falls short. Uh, I do, yeah, I think that's its weakest point. But for 165, and then you can, if you really want the extra fancy add-ons, this goes up to 225. I really don't think this is all that bad of a deal. I think this is pretty legit, man. Um, Price point is definitely right on this. Aesthetics, eh, but price point, you love the design of this? Hey, everyone's a little different. Everyone can have a different opinion with design too. That's the beauty about it. Um, if you love it, then you love it. I just think it's not super, super cohesive. It's just, just a lot of everything, not enough of one thing, you know? But other than that, still, still very nice board. Is this GMK hoodie? It is, do you like it? It's nice. It is, it is very pretty. Yeah, it's also a basic side view, but you know what? For 165, I'm not gonna complain about it because where they kind of lack in some of the visual cue departments, I feel like they really made up for it for the amount of stuff you can do to the inside of this keyboard, and I'm fine with that. I just, again, I would have liked to see some cohesiveness or just some very, very unique design element of this that really set this part, board apart. But if you were in the market for a TKL, this might make sense for you. You can make this board super soft or firm, which I think makes a lot of sense for people maybe who are trying new things out. 18 mil front height, not bad. Maybe the seven and a half degree type angle is not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm not a big fan of the frog, but I do like the frog aesthetics. I just don't like the way the frog sounds, if that makes sense, so. I'm not a fan of TKL because the space between the arrows and media keys never look good. Oh, you mean like this cross over here? Like the, the separator? Eh, it's all, it's all preference, Minty. Yeah, that's pretty much the stream though, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today. Uh, do you like the ball and catch mechanism? I like it, I like it a lot. It's, do you guys see how fast I was able to swap things out? 
You don't have to like sit there, turn the board over, screw things. It, this mechanism is so good. So, so nice. It doesn't go anywhere either, which is nice too, so. Do you think half plate is worth the trouble for O-ring boards? Um, yeah, I think so. Actually, you know what? Come to think about it, I feel like this would probably sound a lot fuller if it used a 1.6 millimeter PCB. I hate to be the one to say that because I feel like I'm always like bring back the basic PCB type guy. But if they used a 1.6 mil, I feel like this would have been ever so slightly fuller and this would have been like perfect sound wise for me. It is very nice, but I think it could have been a little bit better with that. Yeah, like I'm, I'm tempted to not do plateless on a 1.2. All right, though, guys, that's pretty much the stream. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this board's going live soon, I think someone said. I think someone said it was on their Geek Hack, right? It wasn't so much on their... Uh, let me see the Geek Hack thread. Because it doesn't say on their IC page over here, which is weird. you think it would. End of month. Yeah, yeah. So it's going live at the last week of the month over here. All right, though, guys, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this stream today. Um... I think the board's actually pretty nice, just not visually, but uh, very, very nice. Group I Live 28th to uh, December 10th. But for 165, dude, that's pretty good. Have a good one though, guys. Let's go see who we can go raid. We're gonna need the Bauer Light tomorrow if you guys are interested. We're gonna need the Bauer Light tomorrow. Oh, please, Alex. We'll do a little Bauer Light build tomorrow. But, oh God, is no one doing keyboard stuff right now? Thick. Uh, let's go read Asley. Actually, I really like that she's using GMK Micklin. All right, you guys have a good one. Love you guys. Peace out, everybody. Keep on doing you for the rest of the day, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow at like 1 p.m. for the for the Bauer Light build. So see you guys then. Bye everybody. See ya.